Hello, we're back. <laughs> Two scientists and our dog who's posing very nicely for the camera today. <laughs> and uh, today we are looking forward to doing another experiment with you. And we are hopefully going to have a lot of fun for this one. It's a new one that we haven't tried before. So um, it's called Elephant Toothpaste. What you'll need is a bottle, some fairy liquid, food colouring, peroxide, dried yeast, and a jug of water. Put the bottle on the tray and put some fairy liquid in. And some food colouring. Yeah. Now for the next step, you need to get an adult to help with this one because peroxide is something you wouldn't want to get on your hands, it might stink. Okay, so we're going to use a funnel. This is a funnel, we're going to put it in and it means it will make it more easy for us to put the peroxide into the bottle. The bottle. Yeah, it's not going to spill everywhere. Okay, so, oh. there it goes. Next, carefully swirl it around. Next, put four tablespoons of water into a jar. One. Two. Three. This is hot water. And then put the dried yeast into the water. Stir this around and leave it maybe for about 20 seconds or so to get it mixed really, really well. Before we add these two mixtures together, we're going to put on some safety glasses. Yeah? Yeah. Now we're going to add the two mixtures and see what happens. And here's our elephant's toothpaste. Like a really slow place slump. <laughs> so what we've been doing today, boys and girls, is we have been breaking up some molecules. The hydrogen peroxide, the, the chemical name for that is H2O2. And the O2 stands for oxygen. We use the yeast to break off the oxygen molecules. And by doing that, the oxygen molecules got trapped in the soap. You know the fairy liquid we used? It got trapped in the soap and that all bubbled up. And that's how we got a really, really fun reaction today for making elephants to the paste. It was good fun, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. 